started using when I was in seventh grade. At the age of 12, I started smoking marijuana. I was using every day. The last three years of my use, I was shooting heroin. My mom, she was addicted to powder cocaine, and she committed suicide. A lot of times, I feel like adolescents get written off. Nothing had tackled the issue of where these teenagers have to go. It was so hard to try to figure out how much of this is a teenage behavior and how much of this is a problem. We started asking questions like, where do you feel the lowest self-esteem? School. Where do you have the most access to drugs? School. When we look at the just say no message, we can't really rely on that as an intervention because it's a much bigger problem than that. My husband pretty much shut down. He said, close his bedroom door and do not open it. I cannot look in there. For my son's birthday this year, I got him flowers and a balloon, and I took those out, and I put them on his grave. Every now and then, a city will have this experience. It almost sort of feels like an epidemic. And all of a sudden, the community kind of wakes up. Instead of ignoring the problem, we really start looking at it. And it's painful to see. I think in Houston, part of how we were able to create this beautiful continuum of care is because we just got really, really tired of watching kids die. When I first heard of Archway, I was like, there's no way there's a school full of sober teenagers. I would like to see it change from a look of this is just a young person to what it really is. It's our future. Won't be any legacy if we don't have anybody to carry it on. Give them the courage to embrace who they are. They may be afraid of what comes next or confused about what direction to go. But remind them that they are surrounded by a community of recovery that will help them walk through the fear. Just because I've not become addicted to it don't mean I don't know about it. I lived it. I'm living it. We're not going to be able to save them all. But boy, if we could just do more than this. Instead of being Generation Loss and Generation X and all this other stuff we call them, man, Generation Five.